<laughs> you like green? I like green. Stacks back. Scoop phase MTG. So, I posted a clip of this deck on Facebook last week. And I've gotten so many messages from people wanting to see the deck list. They want to see full videos of the deck in action. Um, so, here it is. This is what everybody's been asking for. This is my Super Mono Green Mutate deck. Um, super sweet. Um, if you like attacking and swinging and smash your face with lots of creatures, this is the deck for you. Um, if you like to be able to go through your whole deck, if you like to see every card in your in your deck in a game, this is the deck for you because you can literally just regurgitate your whole deck out on the field. Um, it's super fun and it's super crazy when it goes off. Um, I think this is the most potent mutate build that you can make. I've been wanting to make a good mutate deck. Um, but I just don't like a lot of the builds that everybody's playing around with. So I, I like I like this build um, because once it gets going, it just can't be stopped. Um, if your opponent doesn't have an answer once you start going off, I mean, I don't I, I don't really know. I, anything short of an instant speed board wipe, it's just over with for them. So um, this deck is mono green. A lot of people have asked me um, just discussing this deck. Well, why don't you splash another color? You know, splash black so you can run the... The uh the the insect thing that when it mutates it destroys a planeswalker or a creature or whatever or or splash blue so I can run the sharks that bounce stuff. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not I'm not fooling with any of that, okay? This is mono green. Your opponent, it doesn't matter what your opponent's doing, it doesn't matter what they have out on the field if they're dead. So just kill them. That number one answer to playing against any deck is to kill your opponent. So that's what this deck does. It kills your opponent. So I'm not gonna get into a long drawn out. Deck tech, you know, I'm going to run through the cards real quick. Um, the deck is fairly simple to pilot, so uh, let's just get into it. So I'm running three Grazer, uh, four Paradise Druid, uh, three Haven, uh, four Greyhorn, two Nylea, four Shifted Ceratops, uh, one Samut, one Star, uh, excuse me, four Starix, uh, two Karuga. Karuga is great in this deck because he draws you cards, and there's a lot of times where you may need the card draw, you'll end up exhausting your hand. So Karuga is a lifesaver. He'll come in and draw you some cards, and he fits in the mono green just fine. Uh, three Vivian, uh, two Nix Bloom Ancient, two Enrage Forerunners, uh, four Castle Garen Brig, 18 Forest, and four Fable Passage. I'm running the Fable Passages um, to pair along with Vivian because sometimes you'll, you'll get lands on top of your library. So the Fable Passages can help you from uh, stalling out with Vivian. Uh, Nylea also does the same thing. You, you can activate her ability and get lands from off top of your library so you can keep casting stuff off the top with Vivian. Uh, Samud is to give everything haste. I surprisingly end up with this card um, a lot in my opening hand. I don't know why and I'm only running one in the deck but it's fine because you, you, you need it in the end game anyway. So and she also her minus one can scry land from off top of the library uh, so you can keep things going with Vivian. Um, if you ever minus two on Vivian and you're casting a, a Forerunners, you can fetch up a, a Nyx Bloom. I know it's crazy because you would think Nyx Bloom would cost more than Forerunners, but it doesn't. Um, and then when you, if you ever um, get close to the end of your deck, like if you run out of cards in your deck from just stuff flying out and just flooding the board, uh, you always want to be conscious of Karuga because if you don't have um, the two Karugas out of the deck and you're mutating the Starrex, and you don't have very many cards left in your library and Karuga flies in the play and you have to draw like 10 or 15 cards and you just accidentally kill yourself. So you always want to make sure, uh, be conscious of Karuga, uh, where he's at in the game plan, in the span of whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but yeah, this deck is super potent. It, you don't want to kill yourself, so be conscious of Karuga. It, it can kind of be like an Incredible Hulk style, just hulking out and then you just yeah, you just self-destruct because it's just... It just it gets out of control. It gets insane, man. So, yeah, I'm not gonna speak anymore about the deck. Let's get into the gameplay. Punks. 
thinking about, man. You don't want this green beat down. It's taking his time. Got this going on here. This get this haven down. Got the cat oven nonsense still going on. Even in casual, people still love cat oven. Uh, get Nalia down first. Make everything cheaper. So, see what he plays here. I think I'm actually just gonna. Alright. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna add six here. I'm gonna play the, the Ceratops and the Great Horn, but I'm not gonna mutate the Great Horn. I'm just gonna play the Great Horn on its own. That'll activate Nylea. That'll give me some blockers so I don't get run over. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill on defense here. Come on. Where's your oven? What's out that oven? Cook up some. I want some uh, barbecue. Barbecue cat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play this. Play Nick's Born. He's gotta deal with Nick's Born or it's, it's gonna be over with for him. Thinking about. Yeah, he's looking at my mana. <laughs> yeah, I got enough mana, man. That's a that's a, a good turn for a Nyx Bloom Ancient there. Uh, no attacks. Just sit on defense. Depending on what Karuga draws me, should be able to go off. Turn five. Insanity. Judith isn't gonna help you. And Pingy. That's fine. Alright. Got nothing else? Can't kill Nick's Bloom? Sucks for you. Alright. Let's see what Karuga gets me. I don't know how I keep ending up my, my one of Samet always in my hand. Alright, yeah, Vivian's good. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. This negative is two on Vivian. Cast Sterix and fetch up Ceratops. I want to be cool and mutate on Nylea, but that's that's not the good play, so I won't do that. Keep it. I want to make it spicy for you guys, but I don't want to make bad play, so. Alright, let me find a Ceratops. Alright. Over. That punks is like, man, what's going on? This isn't fair. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take on this. Let's see what all we get here. Resolve all. Just land. Oh, oh, man. Keep this can potentially put me behind a behind a turn playing playing the Great Horn, but it's fine. It'd be fine if I draw another fours. If not, I'll just be a turn behind. Optimus, Play Optimus Prime. Uh oh, this looks to be a cavalcade deck here. Optimus Prime playing cavalcade. I'm just going to mutate because um, I know a lot of people might like to play a plan Nylea first, but he's going to flood the board with a bunch of 1-1s one here, yeah, I'm sure. So um, I need to get ahead of the game on um, accelerating my mana so that I can cast the, the Sterics here. And uh, hopefully he'll land me a bunch of 
Preacher's in play at the camera, so it's, uh, he's really wrapping it up here. Optimus. Optimus is optimized. These one ones. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the uh, unblockable one here. Got something else? Gonna, uh, shrink your steam can. Alright. Alright, so if he plays a cavalcade, I'm in trouble here, but uh, I'm just gonna continue continue the course of playing these great horns. So that uh once I cast my spirits, um, it could be the equalizer. Optimus putting it on me here. Stacking up these pip squeaks. Please don't set down a cavalcade. Cavalcade? Oh, I'm sure if he had it, he'd, he'd, he'd have auto jammed it by now, so he doesn't have it. I'm gonna take the hit from that Spitfire and uh, block the Scorch Spitter. All right, all right, it's the moment of truth. Hopefully, the the Sterics here will get me get me back in the game here. So uh, let's see. Sterix has reached now, so if I absolutely have to block the Spitfire, okay. Alright. Do something good here. Oh! Oh! Alright. Just gonna hang tight. No cavalcade. Well, even if he plays a cavalcade now, I'm, I'm not in trouble. Oh, you gonna attack with the Spitfire? Alright. Yeah, I'll block that. But you didn't, uh, you didn't expect that, huh? Yeah, oops. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get Vivian down. Play Nightly. We're gonna have a problem. Get a get a beast here. Give it reach in case he plays another I call Spitfire. And Decoria answers. I'll swing in with uh these two. Well, wait a minute. No, let me let me swing in with the great horn too. I've got blockers on duty here. Put some pressure on him. What you got, buddy? What you got, Optimus? Oh, he's not gonna save me. Poor Brain's not gonna save me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna keep this. This is uh too slow. It's risky, but I'll keep this. Salmon bag. Why does that salmon keep winding up in my my opening my opening hand all the time? Uh, mentor. Go ahead and get these down. Hopefully, I can draw into some more land here. Or I'm gonna be uh, depending on. I'm gonna have to play Haven, and then I'm gonna have to play Great Horn League. The charming guy again. It's charming, charming all the ladies. All right. Well, land screwed, so gotta do it this way. This guy might be playing some counter magic. He might be playing board wipes too. Not too sure what he's on yet. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and uh play the great horn. Get some land in the place since I can't seem to draw him. Ooh. 
see what this guy's playing. I'm gonna swing in. I'm gonna block with your prince. Block with your prince. I would rather if you did. I want the prince to die. He doesn't want the prince to die though. Okay. Must have some Thassa stuff going on or something. Oh, the sleeping guy. He's always sleeping. Can't help you very much if you're sleeping all the time. Alright. Take the slap from the prince. Oh, I'm just gonna keep wrapping it up here. Play the Grey Horn and then I'll, I'll play uh, the Grazer for some defense. Hopefully he's not going to clear the board or nothing. I don't think he will. He doesn't want to kill his princess. He doesn't want them to die. I wanted the prince to die, but he didn't want him to die, so I don't think he's going to board wipe. Uh-oh. Just passing turn? I don't like all that blue mana open. Luckily I got three of these, so if you count as one, then it's fine. Okay. No counter? What's he got? He got in his hand. Hope he's not uh baiting me into a board wipe. Okay. I'm gonna suck if he, if he board wipes me. I'm gonna swing in with the sticks. Force him to go ahead and Either block or use his board wipe, whatever he's got. Well, Prince is gonna die now. Oh, wait, you got something? Oh. He really doesn't want the Prince to die. It's too charming. Too charming to die. It's a charming guy. He might try to charm Vivian. Looks like get her down. You gonna charm Vivian? Alright. What do you got? Don't worry about him. He's not even a prince. He's not scary. Alright. Get some more Sterics action going. Man, Samet loves my hand. It's fine. She can she can stay in my hand. It's not like I don't need her. Hopefully this, this person doesn't concede, because stuff is about to get really insane now. I don't think he's gonna get another turn, so. Well, no, I know he's not gonna get another turn. Next boom. It's a uh, minus on Vivian. Fetch up a uh, Ceratops. Please don't concede. Every bomb joins a chorus of roars. Ceratops. Gonna we'll get a bunch of triggers here. Please don't concede. Please don't concede. Please. I'm trying to move fast so he doesn't concede. So insane. <laughs> Get one with uh, I keep this. Uh, yeah, I keep this. Hopefully, I can get a game without a person conceding so fast. All right, I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble here because Razor is automatic card disadvantage. All right, 
Krug is a nice pickup. I'm be in so much trouble. Go ahead and pitch now. Alright. My opponent playing. On some green blue. Oh! A symbiote. Another mutate there. So mutate versus mutate. Alright. Let's see who's uh whose build is better. Oh. Two symbiotes. I like that thing. Zero two. Gets counters every time it mutates. Too bad it doesn't fit in my deck. Alright, go ahead and let me take the great horn onto the grazer. Get some lands up here. Definitely don't want to be drawing in the lands. I'd rather fetch them out of the library. What you got? You take. It's exciting. Mutate versus mutate. Battle of the Behemoths. Let's go. Alright. It's a little cute little spider. Not so little. Gonna swing with it? No. Probably should have swung with it. Alright. Let me do some meat baby. See what I get. Yeah, that's good. Alright, I one up you. Thank you. That was nice. What you got? Gonna mutate something? Gonna mutate your spider? You got that shark? You gonna bounce something? Can't cast the uh the wasp yet. Whatever it is. The one that blows something up when it mutates. Alright. You gonna bounce. You gonna bounce my Karuga? Take that. Bounce my steers. Alright. That's fine. Means I get more mutate triggers. That's yeah, six here. Uh, I'm gonna mutate the Great Horn first onto the Starks. So that way when I when I mutate the other Starks onto it, I get more triggers. Initiate. You are uh, not worthy. Let me just yeah, let me just go ahead and go with the original plan here, because Samu doesn't really change much. Gotta keep my permanence up on the, on the board here so he doesn't outpace me. A world of monsters? Uh, this is my I'm gonna paradise. scry. Scry that land to the bottom. I was trained for this. I could swing, but I'm not. Uh, let's uh, get a beast. Give it reach. We might have some flying Diversity since he's running blue. Alright. Up to you again, buddy. What do you got now? You got mutate? You got me mutate something? Oh! He's got his own Starks. Alright. 
Voll. It's a, it's a big horse there. Big horsey. I'm gonna bounce my stars again. You don't want to give me all those mutate triggers, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna bounce my token. There's the a hornet wasp. You gonna swing? My stars don't have trample. I'll just jump it. All right, what are you gonna do, man? Swing your stars in so I can get chunk. No. Nope. All right. Um. Go ahead and. Hit Nalia down. Save my mana. Alright, you take you take this. Should be able to end this now. I don't I don't foresee him getting a, another turn. It's been fun, buddy. My mutate deck is far superior. <laughs> Um, let me see, um, uh, I think I want to, I want to minus on Vivian, um, uh, and play Karuga, draw some more cards. The uh, yeah, let me fetch up, uh, Ceratops. So, doesn't matter. Both have haste anyway. All right. Um. Land. I'm gonna scry this Vivian away. Um. Uh, I'm gonna be, give it to Karuga. Karuga is my buddy. That's my buddy Karuga. All right. Enchantment. Yeah. Uh. Well, I want to I want to play as much stuff out as I can so they can all get the bonus. Um, take it on him. All right, I better I better speed this up before you decide to concede. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep keep one of these. Uh. Man, this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, thank you for not conceding. Uh, yeah, get a beast. Trample. Uh, yeah, good game, man. Uh, don't concede. Please don't concede. Alright. Everything. Buff. Uh, yeah, good game. Go ahead and swing. I don't want him to. I don't want him to concede. You gonna block the battle of the mutate decks? Can't stop me. Superior. Bolus. Omnipotent. you guys enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot i like providing this content for you all so help me out like and subscribe i need to get my views and numbers up and all that good stuff um if you got any deck ideas or want to see something built around a specific idea a specific card um shoot those ideas to me because i get a lot of those um messages and emails on a daily basis actually now um, so if you got some good ideas and uh, I can work with it, I definitely will do a video with it. So um, that option is always available to everybody that wants to see something. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Like and subscribe. Um, I got some giveaways coming up, some more giveaways coming up. So stay tuned for those. And uh, I appreciate all of you. See you guys next time.